Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment and subscribe, post comment and subscribe, like the videos, also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen folks, there's some YouTube content down below. There's other channels I've created. Um, it, it, the links are in the description. They're also in the comments as well. Please go down there to those channels and please subscribe to those channels, turn your notifications for those channels. Especially that Twitch channel, please follow that channel, turn your notifications for those channels so that when I'm posting content over there, you folks will be in the know and I can interact with you folks as well. So I wanna thank everyone that does that. Now with that put aside, I wanna talk about the Jets running back situation as it, as it stands now, all right? I look at this situation I look at the depth here, and I'm saying you got Bell, who's a phenomenal running back. You got Gore, who's a veteran back. You got P. Ryan, who's a young back. Um, and I think we're all right there. My biggest problem is getting Bell the carries that he needs, okay? And that's what I was concerned about when Gore was brought on. Again, Adam Gaze and Gore have a history. They've been, you know, they're in Miami together. You know, Gore always speaks fondly of Adam Gaze. But I'm saying, hey. This needs to be Le'Veon Bell season, point blank period. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. We need to make sure that he's fed and fed well this season. Get this guy the ball at all costs. He's a guy that is a receiving threat, he's a hell of a blocker, and he's one hell of a runner as a running back as well. So we need to do everything that we can do to get the best player on our offense, the football. And we've already seen flare-ups <laughs> already, uh, you know, Adam Gaze and Le'Veon Bell kind of had a back and forth, uh, I guess via social media, I guess you would call it. Uh, you know, Adam Gaze pulled Le'Veon Bell from practice. Le'Veon was not excited about it. The reports come out that, uh, you know, supposedly Le'Veon Bell has a hamstring injury and that's why Gaze, you know, might have pulled him. And Le'Veon immediately responds on Twitter, you know, from his personal account saying, my hamstrings are fine. I don't have a hamstring injury. Then he goes on to say, you know, things like I need more carries uh, to loosen up and really get into the feel of the game. I want more carries, period. Uh, he kind of, you know, go on and said some other things as well. But, you know, here it is. It's already starting. You know, it's already starting a little bit and we haven't even gotten to the season. I'm hoping, you know, that, that can be smoothed over. I know Adam Gaze came out in an interview as well saying that he was kind of, kind of, you know, blown away or kind of thrown back or, or pushed off to the side about what Le'Veon was saying on Twitter. He was kind of shocked about it because, you know, kind of taken aback because he didn't expect Le'Veon to say anything. But I think that part of that is frustration from what happened last year with Le'Veon Bell when we all felt like and we were all kind of seeing that Le'Veon was not getting the carries and the snaps that he needed to have to truly be effective within this offense. Um, and that takes me to the next situation as well because, again, I'm looking at this running back depth here and then boom, out of nowhere, I hear about the Jets trying to trade for Balazs from the Dolphins. And I say, why? Well, today, <laughs> we forgot that the trade has failed. It fell through. Uh, Balazs went and got a physical. He failed the physical because of a hamstring injury, so he's going back to Miami. So that trade looks like it's going to be, or not look like it's going to be reversed. And Miami is probably likely going to just release him. But here's the deal. We didn't really need him either. And I understand that it was for a seventh round pick and it was conditional, but what was the point of bringing him in? I mean, you have a backfield that is filled. Again, you got Bell, who's a phenomenal football player. You got Frank Gore, who's a classy veteran, a guy that can still give you some solid snaps. And you got P. Ryan, the young guy we just drafted. I know P. Ryan right now is dealing with an ankle injury, but you know, hopefully he'll be able to, to get that going and get back and really, you know, give us something. But he's a kid that really has ability as well. He can catch the football. He can, and he, man, he is one hell of a runner. I'm talking about when he's very physical. So it's like, why do you need to add another running back to this, to this scrum? What is the point? Especially when you, again, Adam Gaze, we've seen in the past him struggle to get, you know, his running backs involved. We've talked about the lack of efficiency within our running game and the lack of ability to get the ball in the hands of some of our best players. So it's like, why are you going to get another name to add to that? I don't know why. So I feel like our running back situation here is solid. But Adam Gaze must manage it better and he must manage it correctly. Okay. So with all that said, I want to know what you folks think about this situation. How do you feel about the Balazs trade falling through? 
Uh, what are your thoughts about Le'Veon Bell? How do you feel about Frank Gore? I know there were some fans that were questioning why he was being brought in as well. What are your thoughts about P. Ryan? Uh, are you concerned about that ankle injury as well? I want to get your thoughts on that. And how do you feel about Le'Veon Bell going on Twitter and killing the storyline of <laughs> hamstring injury and all that stuff and talking about how he wanted more carries, you know, in the offseason already? So I want to get you folks' thoughts about that. Please comment down below so we can go back and forth. You folks have a good one. Peace.